uh, today we are going to talk about the emerging trends in public procurement you see uh, as time goes on procurement activities keeps on changing that is why uh, they always amend the act as and when the uh, the those practicing procurement as when practitioners keep on working and then we keep on identifying some loopholes or need for improvement it makes it very important for procurement authority to come out with so many changes or updates in the procurement act so they always review the act to able to include new things that are coming so when we talk of procurement uh, the emerging trends in public procurement we know procurement is a con is constantly evolving felt yes it's constantly evolving it keeps on uh, new things keeps on coming in procurement so as a procurement officer or practitioner you shouldn't sit down you should always make sure research you research you read to able to find out new things that are coming so uh, things keeps on changing things keep on to procurement documentations and uh, new uh, uh, things are coming and for that matter uh, we don't sit at one place you should be caring should be up to date with the emerging trends of the procurement so last procurement that's why i've been advising you always that and as i told you uh, we have the amended act uh, then in 2016 they amended and 2022 there's also uh, a new uh, or an improved uh, act in 2022 and you need to get that information and see those areas that has been amended or improved to able to know so that when you are practicing you know where to go so in procurement as a procurement professional you should be up to date you should be up to date and able to be moving with the changing or emerging trend in the procurement system so there is an increasing emphasis on sustainability in public procurement yes now that is one of the factors or that is a new trend that have included in the procurement process so that we are able to make sure that whatever we are procuring we consider the environment environmental effects is that okay think about environmental effects of either goods services or worse we need to be very careful so we include all these in our procurement in our tender preparations or the information or some of the criteria that we need in the evaluation process so we need to include uh, this merging trend new things that are coming so that you will be able to be on the same page you to be on the same page so if you are a procurement officer you have to make sure that you are up to date you follow all what is going on within the procurement environment you need to be carried so we are saying that now in the emerging trend and then now uh, within the procurement environment we ensure and place more emphasis on sustainability sustainability procurement that is now the new trend that we are going and for that matter uh, as procurement officer you need to be up to date and understand when we talk of sustainability with the aim of promoting environmental social and economic sustainability when we talk of sustainability we have social economic we have environmental to, to make sure that whatever that we are procuring we consider sustainability so procurement officers should consider factors such as environmental impact of goods that we are going to provide or service 
you see so we think about the use of recycled materials and the social impact of the suppliers so it depends on what we are going to buy or whatever procurement we are going to embark on you should be having sustainability aspects in your criteria that we are going to use to evaluate tenders it should be part of it you can't run away from it now is a new trend and that is how the world is going that is where we are going now so uh, we ensure green procurement we ensure green procurement in order to able to make sure that whatever we are procuring for the government we consider the environment the social and then economic uh, impact that it will have on the procurement that we are embarking on so in all we talk to sustainability in section 17 of the poly procurement act 2003 talks about sustainability so when you talk of e procurement it's also a new trend it's also a new trend in our procurement processes now it's also we talk about when you, you, you read part uh, vi section 48 of the World procurement act it also talk about the uh, e procurement is that okay you explain each and every one after after the other then we talk of collaborative procurement said five or the public procurement act 2003 provide guidelines for joint procurement so and then we talk about innovation we should also ensure innovative way in our procurement processes so we need to make sure that as procurement officers whenever we are going to embark on procurement we should be thinking about these four new trend that have been have been included in the procurement process so section 17 of the procurement act 663 states that in determining the most advantageous tender procurement entities shall consider the quality of the material work or any service then think about the availability of whatever you're going to procure what about reliability you also need to make sure there's reliability and then the nature after sales service that we are going to have so we talk about the life cycle cost of the whole the item in question when let's say um we want to go and buy a laptop for our institutions yes we need to make sure uh, the quality is okay the item in quite the brand or whatever type that you are going to buy they are available in the market and reliable and then we are able to know some of these things that we buy like we want to buy a machine so we can have after sales service when you talk about sales service that the maintenance aspects is that okay maybe insulation or maybe training of staffs to be able to know how to use that machine so in procurement we have to make sure that we have all these factors considered in whatever procurement we are embarking on so we think about environmental and technical characteristics of whatever we are going to uh, procure you know overall economic advantage of whatever we are going to procure for our organization and you know as procurement officers we work for the entity head we are under entity head entity head uh, appoint procurement somebody to head or procurement professional to work for him or her and for that matter we need to able to also make sure that we are able to serve the organization or entity work and then now the act is asking us that there are new trends there are new things that procurement authority is bringing in and for that matter we as procurement officers should go by that it's not about only low cost or low uh, beta that we consider here now we are thinking about sustainability of the procurement sustainability how we are able to think about the effects what whatever service we are rendering to organization whatever procurement we are going to we are we are going to procure 
we should be thinking about the environment. We should be thinking about the economic impacts of that item. We should be thinking about the social impact of the item in question or goods or services in question. So we need to make sure that as procurement officers, we understand the new trend and how things are changing in the procurement environment. So that is that. Now we talk about the role of procurement officers in our emerging trends in public procurement. How are we as procurement officers going to embrace the emerging trend that is coming in? Because we are going to work with these, uh, uh, we are going to work with the new, uh, what do you call it, reviews that has come in the procurement. Whatever procurement authority, whatever information or addition they make in the procurement process, we are the people to implement these tools. Is that okay? So whatever we are going to procure, we need to make sure that we include all the necessary information that is expecting from us. Now, procurement is advancing. We are advancing. We have been procuring and for that matter, we are able to identify the various loopholes and areas that we need to make changes. So based on this, Public Procurement Authority was set up and then review the act and then add more information and maybe reduce or remove some of the things from the act. So we should be always be up to date. We should be current on procurement issues, on procurement issues. You see, we are talking about the, uh, the e-procurement system. Now, that is the way to go. Even when COVID came, and if by then, yes, we were having e-procurement in place, but it wasn't active. We were not using it. But in order to be able to make sure that we transact business at ease, it's good we embrace and understand the e-procurement system, whereby we can uh, upload our bid document, we can procure our bid document, submit the bid document online, and then we open tender online, we evaluate tender online. So the brick and mortar system, the physical contact will be off in the procurement process and it will fast track the process. It will reduce the the uh, the paper, the paper use and then the office use and so on and so forth. So as procurement professionals, we have to make sure that we are current and we know what is moving on in the procurement environment. So procurement officers, we have a vital role to play in ensuring that the emerging trend in public procurement are integrated into procurement processes. So we have to make sure that the new things that are coming, wherever any organization that we find ourselves in the public institutions, we have to make sure that our documentation, our process that we go through to award contracts to suppliers, contractors, we factor all these new things that are coming. That is what is expected from us. We are not working for ourselves. We are working for the state. So whatever the rules and regulations that the state bring, we have to make sure we implement those rules and regulations in order to be able to make sure that uh, we are the public or the state achieve value for money on the taxpayers' money that we are using. We are the spending offices. So whatever we are asked to do, we should go by the act. Yes. So <clears throat> we should be up to date with the new procurement methods that we need to use. Now, 
we have e procurement system in place that we have to make sure that we go by that system we should be able to make sure what procurement procedures and process we are using we should be thinking what about sustainability procurement principles so when you read section 22 of the amended act says 2006 specify that duties of procurement officer stating that they shall be responsible for ensuring that all procurement processes are conducted fairly transparently and in accordance with this act so we are not doing things for ourselves we are doing things for the state so whatever trend or need things that the state thinks that we need to embrace we have to make sure we accept the new challenge and practice with it now we have some benefits and challenges of adopting these emerging trends in public procurement now so some of these benefits we talk about cost savings yes when i was mentioning about the e procurement we realized that we were able to save costs like let's say for instance the number uh, we have the facilities the electricity that we have to work in the rooms that we have to work in when people come you have to serve them is that okay and all these things are the way that we are doing to save cost we don't print any uh, big documents they are all electronic they are all electronic and then we make sure that uh, whatever we are procuring we are very mindful about the environmental impact so we are able to assess if the item in question or whatever contract we are awarding if it's about goods we check about its impact its impact on the environment on human the user department what are the some of the challenges or the dangers that will impose on the user department so we check all these things now if maybe the item in question become obsolete how do we dispose the item we need as procurement officers need to go through assess all these things to be able to know the effect that the item in question is going to have on the environment the effect that the item in question is going to have on the user depend the, the people that are going to use those items so we need to check we need to assess all these things then we should also think about the economic impact if we are able to go through proper procurement processes and then we scrutinize all bidders very well if we do this at all the day you're able to get a good offer you're able to get a good offer and save costs and save taxpayers money and enjoy economy of scale since procurement we buy things in bulk we buy things in bulk and when we buy things in bulk definitely we are going to enjoy economy of scale so that is why we are saying that the emerging trend has its own advantages and disadvantages and we need to embrace it it should also ensure efficiency we ensure efficiency if we are procuring items and we have sustainability as our focal point where we are using to prepare our bid i will set our criteria that we are going to use to able to evaluate the tenders we are able to make sure that whatever that we are doing all the activities within the chain of the procurement we ensure efficiency we ensure efficiency and if it's happening like this it saves time it saves time and it's very very important then it also ensures transparency yes um uh, with the new trend that we are talking about here now if you are so you're bidding for contract online everybody will submit your document online there is no personal contact is that okay no personal contact no physical contact 
to Alice Ferry. If each and everyone would download your upload your uh, document online, and then those in charge, entity tender committee, they will sit, go through the documentation, and then everything will be free and fair. It will be free and fair. You cannot favor one co uh, tender or tender against the other. Since you have uploaded your uh, uploaded your document, the, the tender committee will also sit, open the tender, and then assess the various uh, tenders. And when they open the tender, they then send a report to tender evaluation panel whereby they will also evaluate the various tenders that has been received and they will make recommendation so the new trend has a very strong positive impact it has a very strong positive impact in a organization or in a procurement activities then what are some of the challenges that's associated with adopting this emerging trend yes uh, looking at what we are talking about here it involves a lot of money it involves a lot of money and you spend for instance if you are you know, uh, using e procurement as an example yes um, sometimes uh, uh, buying of laptops buying of data is that okay the technology that you need to be to make sure you're able to execute the task and execute the task well is another point that one yes is cost is is costly it, it has a very high cost implication to the organization and then uh, it's time consuming how when you look at the physical nature of tender opening or procurement processes at this point if you're using your procurement the uh, the procurement officer has a lot of documents that he has to read and assess is that okay if you have one tender process that you are going through and then you have about 10 or 15 people bidding for all these contracts you need as a procurement officer as and when they upload their document you should also download these documents you should download these documents and all these increase cost and also it's time consuming for the procurement officer now so this is what the new trend in procurement that we are talking about we talk about sustainability we talk about innovation we talk about the economic impact social impact environmental impact these are the sustainability that we are talking about here how we are going to make sure that the procurement process and the system that we are putting in place we consider all these things so at the end of the day it will not have effect on the environment it will not have effect on the people both economic and social effects so we need to make sure that as procurement officers we buy by the we buy by the new trend and we should be up to date we should be up to date to able to know what is happening in the procurement environment so thank you very much for your time we will continue the next lecture we are going to talk about contract planning in Ghanaian context using PPA public procurement acts thank you very much